truly the loss of an icon. Yeah, indeed. That was Antoine Lewis reporting. Well, jury selection and opening statements were held today in a civil trial accusing former President Trump of sexual battery and defamation. That case brought by former columnist E. Jean Carroll, who says Trump raped her nearly three decades ago in a department store dressing room. And Fox News Morgan McKay was inside the courtroom today. She joins us live from Lower Manhattan. Morgan? <laughs> Stephen Natasha, this will be an anonymous jury, which is rare for civil cases. The judge telling the jury pool that, quote, the fewer people who know who you are, the better, telling them not even to share their real names with each other, saying maybe just go by John for the week. The goal, the judge said, is to prevent the jurists from facing any sort of harassment that could take away from any sort of impartiality. Now, the jurists will be picked up from what's called an assembly point, taken through the garage of the courthouse, so they can avoid all the cameras and the reporters you see behind me. Now, this case centers around accusations from writer and columnist E. Jean Carroll, who alleges that former President Donald Trump raped her in a New York City department store in the 1990s. Trump has called her allegations a con job, a hoax, and said he didn't even find her attractive. This led Carroll to sue him for two things, defamation and battery. The statute of limitations in this case Case already ran out, but after the state legislature passed the Adult Survivors Act last year, this opened a window for Carol to sue Trump. Because it is a civil case, Trump is not required to attend the trial, but it's unclear if he will eventually show up to testify. Opening statements began shortly after 3 p.m., starting first with the prosecution. The judge in this case says he's trying to move fast, so they're expecting the trial to last anywhere between five to ten days. Reporting live, I'm Morgan Mackay, Steve Natasha, back to you. Well, thanks, Morgan.